Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we had some rain overnight and a few snowflakes here and there. That precipitation is gone. The rest of January 1 looks to be pretty quiet. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. You can see that big area of rain that came on through. Even a little bit of snow, mainly in the northwestern suburbs. But I think in Providence had a couple of snowflakes. It's long gone. Threat tracker for today. Low chance of anything severe. Same for tonight and same for Monday. Tuesday, however, we could be looking at uh, some potentially heavy rain. We might have to go up to that medium level on Tuesday. Live pictures from Newport. You can see the skies brightening up a little bit. The skies are going to be clearing out and at Oakland Beach and Warwick. You can see the skies are clearing out nicely. Should be a nice sunrise in a little while in Warwick at 39 degrees currently with a calm wind. The winds will be picking up a little bit as we go through the day today. In fact, we could be seeing some afternoon wind gusts of 25 miles an hour. Temperatures much of the night were around 40 degrees or so in Providence. We've fallen back a little bit down to 36 degrees. Smithfield 34, 38 in Newport, Westerly currently at 39 degrees. There's that big area of rain and a little bit of snow heading out associated with a cold front. We have another batch of cold air off to our west. It's going to take a while for it to get in here. We're looking at uh, temperatures today to top out in the uh, 30s and low 40s across some parts of the area. Monday morning, upper 20s and lower 30s. Now taking you through the rest of the day on Monday. Notice lots of clouds overhead and will stay dry, I think, during the daylight hours. But during the evening, it's possible we could be seeing some rain showers here in southern New England, setting us up for what will likely be a uh, rather soggy day on Tuesday. But your forecast for today, anything but soggy, looks quite dry, 42 in Narragansett, Newport, 42, Hope Valley, Charlestown, 42, 43 degrees, same for Westerly, about 40, 41 and from Woonsocket, down 146 into Providence, Bristol, 42, Fall River, 42, Freetown, New Bedford, topping out about 42 degrees today. Now here's your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. Let's go through this for your polar plungers, new penguin plungers for today. Air temperatures this morning, are going to be in the upper 30s. The water temperature of the bay about 46 degrees, so a little bit above average for the time of year. You got that working for you at least. Could be a lot worse. We're not looking at an absolutely frigid day, but you get out of that water. It's going to feel pretty cold on uh, Monday. We are going to be seeing increasing clouds throughout the day with temperatures topping out in the lower 40s. Looks like we'll be dry during the daylight hours tomorrow, but on Tuesday we'll likely be seeing an all day rain, possibly heavy at times, especially later in the day. It's going to be a little milder with temperatures around 50 degrees, staying relatively mild for Wednesday. But notice what happens to the temperature later in the week. Temperatures only topping out in the uh, low to mid 30s for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Now something that we're watching for late in the week, the potential for some uh, snow, maybe in that Thursday night into Friday time frame. It's a long way out and uh, it's a weather system that should pass off to our south, but could come close enough that we get a little bit of snow. We'll watch that, but today looks to be quiet. We like to always have something to track. That's right. Something to keep an eye on. All right, TJ, thanks so much for covering New England for you this morning. Now